you might better tell. I got dressed up today, <laughs> but I was feeling really bad, so I wasn't able to go to Sydney with Kevin. But he bought a few things I wanted to show you, like a new watch band. Oh, it feels like... Oh no, it's alright when your fingers go out because it feels a bit tight. So we've got a nice watch band. There's no buckles. Because the other one fell off on my watch... Um, well, the watch just fell off the other day. Because it was a cheap band that Kevin had bought for me. Oh, it was? It's like me. I do, you bought me that band. My watch never fell off any other bands. Oh my god. But it was very good, hub, hub, bleh, very good hubby. He came home with a present for me, which was a surprise. And I said, that's the kind of present I like. Mango and the first cherries we've seen this season. Did you try one? Of the cherries? Um, Can remember yes. last time you did try one? Yeah, because last time we tried them, they weren't very good. And then there's some Christmas presents in there. What are you doing? Right, come on, I've got to pair your watch. Oh. Come on, show stuff on the screen. Oh, sorry. Sorry, you keep talking now. Okay. So, we've got our enchilada sauce so we can finish off dinner from last night. And then a few things from Lush. So, I've got the Buff Body Butter Bar, which I really like. Well, there's two of them. I really love them. And I'll just that finish one. Kevin got me two of these Roots Hair Treatment. Because apparently it's my favourite, but I've never had it before. <laughs> so... I didn't tell it your favourite. He said I liked it. Well, I assume you only order things that you like. Well, no, it was a new thing to try. Why do you order <laughs> things you don't like? So, I thought I'd give that a go. Um, and then a pip another pink peppermint foot lotion. We've got about half one left, but that'll keep us going. And then, Kevin had said last time T2 had some nice um, stuff. So I had a look on the website. And they did indeed have some nice stuff. I can't believe I bought you things you liked. That's like like what? The, the, the cup that I picked? Yeah. <laughs> I bought you a tea thing last time and you said that was nice. The advent calendar, yes. But they don't have a lot of cups that are big enough. Like I like a cup that size. This one's about the same size, I believe. Oh my gosh, how much tissue paper do I have on this thing? Well, I guess I want to protect it. Be a good boy. Where's the plate? Saucer, sorry, it's a cup and saucer, isn't it? And then this, oh my gosh, it is beautiful. Oh, I didn't see the, oh, it's called armadillo. I'm thinking, why is it called armadillo? Because they didn't show you the inside of it on the website. That's why it's an armadillo cup. But isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you, Kevin, for that. You're a good boy. You picked really well. Would you have picked this for me? Um, don't, don't you think it looks like me? Yeah. <laughs> the two can looks look like you. It's got the same size nose. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's an armadillo on the side. It's funny because it's called that, but they didn't show it on the website. Oh, I do like that. Very nice. Give me a change from, from this one. Good morning everyone, excuse my appearance, obviously I'm not yet ready for the day but you know, you guys have seen me probably even looking worse than this at times. Uh, did I say good morning, oh my gosh, my brain is all over the place today, not having a great morning so far, very weird, a Friday I was really bad on Friday but luckily Saturday and Sunday I was pretty good. So. Fortunately, because I was so bad on Friday, I couldn't get up to Sydney with up to Sydney with Kevin. We're going to go here to go to the Apple Store at Miranda, which is the big shopping centre. And I was going to go with him just more for company and, and have a little look around, probably at a few shops, just depending, and get a Starbucks. I'll be looking forward to that because we don't have any in Wollongong, <laughs> and I haven't had one probably since America last year. So I was quite looking forward to my Starbucks, but alas, I was quite a lot of pain on Friday and it was a good decision because I didn't really improve until mid-afternoon well after when Kevin got back I started to feel a bit better but on Saturday I was feeling good and we were able to clean the pavilion so I we didn't film but I do have a before and after photo I can show you now it's all empty at the moment because 
I don't know if I vlogged. I actually ended up ordering a really nice piece of furniture for out there. Thinking, well, obviously, no big holiday this year. We're going to be home. I want to use that near the pool more. How do I make it? And I've been, look, I've been looking at these for some time. I haven't showed you or shared with you before, like months ago. Looking around at some lounging sort of things to put out there. So I was down to like two of them that I really liked. And I just decided, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and we'll get that. And that way we'll utilize the pool area. We can sit up there, it's like a double lounge area. So we can sit up there to read, we can relax, we can have a sleep. <laughs> you know, Kevin could have a sleep, I probably won't sleep, but we could, he could have an afternoon nap out there. If I was sitting reading, he could go to sleep. So I think that we will get good use out of it, I hope so. Um, and that sort of really turns the area out pool area into a really nice complete area so we've got like the sitting area straight out there where we tend to sit we've got the sun lounges for after the pool and for lounging in the sun if we want which we don't tend to do a lot of except for post for maybe and then we've got a shaded area too to lie and relax so it should be really good um, so I'm excited hopefully I'm hoping it'll turn up this week so that's the reason we sort of had to get a move on with the pavilion area it's been needing cleaned badly for so long and Kevin was such a help Kevin's never done that He's like turned over a new leaf. Um, <laughs> Mum and dad have helped me do that. I've done it by myself many times. Obviously, I'm full fibro probably. Mum and dad have helped more since the fibro. But that's the first time he's ever done it. He didn't realize how hard, it, hard a job it was. It takes a lot of time anyway. You use a high pressure hose, but then you've got to slush all the water out. Then you've got to dry it. Uh, it just gets so dusty in there. And it hasn't been done for probably since last summer. So that got done which is really good and we had it yesterday we were expecting Thea and Dan for lunch but they'd been having a market stored out at the local markets here more, it was more of a practice run for them to see how it all sort of went good, I don't know they had great sales but you know it's just a bit of experience I guess in seeing how it all runs so yeah so they were expecting them for lunch but then it was such a hot day I thought I bet they cancelled after being out in the, the heat for so long at the market which he did so they're coming for dinner tonight so Kevin and I just what have we done in the morning Kevin mowed the lawns he went and bought a, like a plug-in mower which is quite cheap and he doesn't like the other ones that we've got he doesn't want to use a petrol one so yeah so he mowed the lawns because <laughs> you could see that already being done again even though you mowed them last week what's happened to my husband like this is great <laughs> Uh, and then yeah we went for a swim in the afternoon we watched some TV together in the afternoon what do we watch we watched The Queen's Gambit during the week which we really really enjoyed highly recommend that one it's such a good show I know nothing about chess nothing at all and I really enjoyed the show still so that probably might have put me off but no really really good show Kevin was amazed how much he enjoyed it too um, he had a little bit of understanding of chess but I said I have none and very good show and then we watched Emily in Paris just a nice light-hearted kind of almost teenagerish shows even though they're in their 20s yeah and we enjoyed that too just, yeah so that's what we finished watching yesterday afternoon then we went and had a swim in the pool and Kim did a bit of cleaning in the pool obviously Coda had a swim Kim and I had a splash and a chase and yeah so it was um ended up being a really very nice Besides being sick on the Friday, Saturday and Sunday were nice. The actual weekend days, we had a nice, nice weekend together. So we had planned to go away this weekend, but on yeah, yesterday was it yesterday. I think yeah. I said to Kevin, you better go out and change, check the water tanks because the place we're going to go doesn't have town water. So you have to have water in your tank so you can fill them up behind home or you can fill them up down there. And when we did that, the pipe burst and water ran down the driveway. And it doesn't look like we can get it fixed until January. So obviously we've had to cancel this weekend to wait down at Clayola where we're going to go. Everywhere else seems to be booked out. Like it's, I was had such trouble finding somewhere until I went like two hours, two and a half hours south. So quite a distance, but where we used to go. So we'll just transfer that booking until next year sometime and try again. And yeah, so we're not going away this weekend now. I don't know if the story was gone. We're not going away this weekend. <laughs> we'll be home again. Anyway, got some eggs cooking in the pressure cooker behind me. You can probably hear them making noise now. I thought I'd do them before I do the dog's dinner. So Kevin can have an egg sandwich tomorrow for lunch. 
I'm just going to finish ordering my groceries. I better get a move on because I might only have to nine o'clock to order them to pick up today. Didn't think I'd get a pick up today, but I did. Obviously another cup of tea. And yeah, just having issues with my stomach at the moment. Sort of very on again, off again. Bit of fibro pain, but that's probably fairly normal. It's going to be a very hot day today for here. Well, a pretty hot day, over 30, which is, you know, hot for me, but it's not extreme heat, but very warm. I've already got the air conditioning on in preparation, knowing it's just going to get hot. And I've even got the fan on. I'm sitting in front of the fan with the air conditioning on because I get so warm. But I thought, don't have any hope of doing anything today. The air conditioning will be going on, and I may as well go on early and keep the house cool. So, yeah, better go and get these groceries ordered and check back in a bit later. Yes, it's now 20 past 10. I'm kind of up and moving. I've had a shower now and I've made the bed. I had thought I was feeling better, but my stomach and head are saying otherwise right now. So, I'm going to try and organise some sit down jobs, like sort out my grocery bags and things like that. I'm sure, I can come with mothers as well. But we'll see. I have to get the groceries in just over an hour and a half. And after that, obviously, that I probably kept busy for a bit unpacking and bits and pieces and cooking dinner for tonight. It's an easy one, it should be nice. What am I making tonight? I've got a few ideas. Oh, and one thing I did do when I was, you know, sitting on the couch was um, I booked in for Easter to go down to Kosciuszko National Park in the snowy area of Australia. There won't be any snow there then because it's April early April I think is Easter so I booked in for that um, and we've got quite a bit of credit from or half of it credit from last Easter when we had to cancel because of the no travel restrictions that were in place in New South Wales so I booked that for Easter and then I thought I'm gonna have a look around again for this weekend and I found somewhere to go a bit further afield than what we we're looking before but not as far as where we'd actually booked because we suddenly realized we go to Canberra for a weekend which is three hours away and the places we're looking at were two and a half hours away and we're thinking that was too far to go for the weekend. It obviously makes no sense at all. So we're now prepared to go two and a half hours for the weekend if we have to. Obviously better to go just an hour or so for a weekend but I want to take the doggies and I want to take, sorry, Coda and there's a beach there and a lake there. We're going to a place called Lake Conjola. My best friend Leanne always went there for holidays. I've never been. I think Kevin even might have been as a kid camping there. So that should be nice. Somewhere different. We have well, I haven't been ever, and so Kevin hasn't been in the last 35 years. <laughs> so that'll be good. And well, I'm just trying to find the recipe that I'm doing for dinner tonight. I'm making a vegan one-pot caramelized tomato caprese pasta. How's that for a mouthful? I can link that one below. I have made it before and I've got a few little notes on it to add more tomatoes because Kevin always loves tomatoes and things. And the fact that I use a full can of coconut milk rather than a half a can, I wrote turned out perfect. And to add some chopped baby spinach. So that's what I'm making for dinner tonight. And I meant to order some garlic bread, but I don't think I got that in the end. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> That'll be fine anyway. If I need something else, I could do a little salad to go with it. Um, the eggs are boiled, they're done. Now cooking the dog's dinner, and I've got some bread, which is hopefully, it has defrosted perfectly while I was up having a shower. Just gonna make a, heat up a lentil patty, or defrost a lentil patty. Um, add some barbecue sauce, and some lettuce, and onto my bread as a sandwich. Because I haven't had breakfast yet, so I have that now. And obviously lunch will be late anyway, after I get the groceries, and hopefully get them put away. All right, I'll see you after breakfast. Some puppies aren't impressed. It's just turned out to be a ride to pick up groceries rather than a trip to the PARK, which is what they like to do when they put their harnesses on. <laughs> Poor puppies. We we'll drive a different way. If you're looking out the window, you should understand which way we're going. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at all the dog fluff on the floor. It's been a while since we vacuumed. Oh, look, I just step over him. It's if only you get yourselves tangled. Are you tangled? Oh, okay, nice tangle. He just steps out of it, luckily enough. Oh, no, they're twisted now. Is it got yourselves twisted, you sillies? I'll fix you up in a minute. When he is done. <laughs> Thank you.
quick grocery run um i was trying to film what this up in the car just for something different but i think the, I think the dog knocked the well first of all my camera battery was flat and then i put my phone there and i think well, i think he might knock it off so i don't know if i've got any footage or you've seen a little bit but i'm pretty sure this did not get recorded the state of this uh iced fruit bun or tea cake i had there was cans on top of it. So I had a bag with that and some bread rolls and a loaf of sourdough, or Turkish rolls and sourdough, and tins on top of those things. Luckily, it hasn't got, I mean, it's squashed, but you know, that's okay. But I thought, who packed today? There's something else I thought that was really weirdly packed. I mean, they did put the pumpkin in by itself, so that was something, I guess. And my jars are together, but there's something else that was weird as well. That's an odd combination of grocery items. Um, I don't know what it was now. Oh, yeah, this. Look, I've got chips, popcorn, and cans. Like, why? And I did get plastic bags today because I don't have any size plastic bags to put my plastic recycling in. <laughs> so, um, that I usually use in there for my plastic recycling. So I thought, well, I don't know, if I just get a batch every so often in plastic rather than the, like this will last me for a couple of months probably. So I don't know what the answer is, but I don't really get anything. Yeah, I figured that's all right. These are made from recycled plastic already. So and then I'll recycle the plastic again. So that's why I've got plastic bags today instead of the paper bags. Did miss my paper bags, it was much easier, it's easier, they're more supportive, I think. Um, and possibly this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> but anyway, all right, I'm going to try and, I don't think I've actually got any fridge stuff. I had some freezer stuff I put straight in. And then obviously I've got my fruit and vegetables, which is again, the bulk of the shop. Um, and a few bits and pieces. Do I have any fridge stuff to put away? Let me have a look. Oh yes, there's some cheese somewhere. All right, let's find that cheese. <laughs> I've got some bio, some vegan cheese. See, again, they're just they're packed really weirdly. Which bag are we going to find that in? You wouldn't know with this lot. Where? I don't know where they are. I might see one of these ones. In there? No. no, in there with the fruit. Yeah, so, so they packed weirdly. <laughs> Last week was such a good job packing, and this week, hmm, we'll give them a fail for this week. <laughs> all right. Um, I was going to try and maybe quickly show you as I put things. So I'll get all the free stuff out. I'll show you, and then I'll just do a quick haul in this vlog today. Okay, it's not been quite a week since I did my last grocery haul. At last week's groceries were done on Tuesday. So it's just a day short. And then I had a few things that I missed. I had to get Wednesday. So, yeah, it's pretty much a weekly grocery shop. But just needed some of the vegan cheeses today to have spare. The slices and the shredded cheese. And then for some reason I just got one. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing today. One chebrani for Kevin. I have, do have a few in the free fridge. So that's probably why I only got one. I got a sour cream because he's only got a little bit left of that. And then I got him some thick cream because occasionally he asks for cream. It lasts for a couple of weeks, so hopefully he will use that. I know he's got some apple pies he wants to eat in the freezer, but he likes to have the cream with them. So I just got the small tub, so it's not so bad. I decided just to unpack the spare pantry item, put it behind me here, in the spa room just so I can pop them straight in the cupboard. So I've got sticks of the our favorite pasta sauce, which is this Pro Providor. 
And we like the one with the caramelized baby onions. Really good. It's quite a runny sauce, but it's really nice. Especially if you've got some really good quality pasta, like our filled vegan pasta that we have. I just got a replacement. Um, Beerenberg, I guess is the pronunciation. Tomato sauce. We really like that one. And it comes in the glass bottle, which is largely why we did change over. And plus with a thin and not living here, we don't go through as much tomato sauce as we used to. Stocked up on some coconut milk, so I've got a cup, four cans of the little ones, three of the large, and a couple of can, small cans of pineapple. Now that it's mango season, I tend to have more mango in my salad and less pineapple, so if we open a tin, we don't, other one of the bigger tins, we don't seem to get through it. So I just bought a few small tins. Stocked up on some tortillas, as you can see, because we were running a bit low. I think I used up the last of what we had. Yeah, I did, during the enchiladas the other, other night. So I've got uh, one pack of 10 of the regular ones and then I've got different brand, the corn and wheat ones and the mission brand and then the street tacos. Kevin likes to wrap a, these around a taco shell, what do you call it? Dos Capas, I think it's called. So that's why I have the little tiny ones. Plus we do use them sometimes as well, just a nice change of little wraps, little, um, what do you call them? A little burrito or a little tortilla thing. And then these are new, obviously. It says new um, tortilla pockets. And it, yeah, it gives you ideas of even having like a breakfast in them or a lunch or a salad on the go kind of thing. So I thought, oh, they're kind of fun, aren't they? So I'll probably pop them in the motorhome to have because again, they'll keep until May, which is well past this season. That's what I'll do with them because that'd be a fun little thing to have in the motorhome. Got some chips that are on sale. And some of these pop chips, I really like these. And I, don't, I think they're a little bit better for you than just normal potato chips. But they're really yummy. <laughs> and some of the Ritz crackers. Uh, I really like these. I like them in little portions, little, little snack pack. And sometimes I want a bit, something a bit savoury. I don't want to have chips. I think they're quite a good alternative to have. Um, got some pearl barley, which I use. Well, I use in a few recipes, but it also goes in the dog's grain mix. So I... Just stocked, already stocked up on that and some popping corn. Christy was after some deodorant and I'm pretty sure I found out recently that Dove is now cruelty free. Don't test on animals and they're not owned by someone who tests on animals. I'm pretty sure I did discover that because I wouldn't used to buy these ones. <laughs> well, kids can have what they want basically I guess but I'll try and persuade them over to my way of thinking. So yeah, I now have that. And I just got a spare more teen. Uh, this is a natural one. It's supposed to be less than the other ones and it certainly isn't as stinky but it still can get up your nose. Um, we live in Australia. You have to have something for flies and mosquitoes because they do get in the house and unless you want to do them crazy you need to have them. Well, I'm just going to leave this here now. It's so hot in this room because this room does not have air conditioning so I'm going back in here. Ooh. Where's a bit of air conditioning? And yeah, my kitchen's like, oh, a bomb exploded of groceries. I didn't realize this morning I only unpacked the top shelf of the dishwasher and not the bottom. So that's why that's so it's still open. So I remember, dog dinner is ready. They'll be excited because I put a couple of eggs that are a little bit getting a bit dubious. So they've got in their dinner and they're all sniffing it, especially the griddles. They're quite excited to have eggs in the dinner. So I'm going to shut the dinner. Get some potatoes cooking for my lunch and then I'm probably going to sit down and cool down. I've got the fan on as well. I'm, I'm so hot. I probably should have worn something cooler today. But I thought sitting in the air con I'd be fine. So yeah, I'll do that and I'll get more groceries put away. Here we go. Plastic bag for plastic bags. I don't know. Does anyone got any other suggestions? Let me know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I do the best I can, all the things that I think of anyway. Not perfect by any means, but you know, I try. So I'm going to quickly do this washing up. Dog dishes are done, so I'm going to do the washing up while potatoes are cooking. And then I'm going to go sit and have my lunch. I also got the dishwasher emptied too. Time to get up, do some more stuff. Finish getting these groceries put away and make dinner. I think I'll do dinner first because I can always just throw the groceries somewhere else if I need to, if I get stuck. Um, 
I was like, I was going to say something too. Oh, I was just going to say, I haven't probably been very productive, like as far as stuff around the house today, but I've been pretty productive online. I haven't been watching YouTube much. I watched little bits today, but really I haven't watched much. I've been doing online Christmas shopping and that takes some time for me trying to find sustainable, ethical things where I can, can't always, but where I can. Christy wanted some bed socks for Christmas. So I've just been, I don't know, spent a couple of hours trying to find some bed socks. I've actually found a place I could order some ethical socks from in the UK and they ship for free to Australia. So I've got Christy one or two pairs and myself one or two pairs. I've ordered three. <laughs> if I really like them, I'm gonna keep two. I don't really need bed socks because I've got my ones from Bath and Body Works last year, but I've also have been looking for some ethical socks bed socks for when these ones run out because these are i think they're made from polyester the bottom body works ones which obviously aren't an ethical material so um plus can't access them this year but i really need to find something that i'm happier to support anyway so that's good hopefully that'll be nice they look really pretty the odd socks which i really like i've got them quite quirky but we always used to like little mismatched at Disney and we used to go there we used to always buy the the odd socks <laughs> anyway um enjoyed my lunch I just had some potatoes there must be a different variety of potato because these were well I've got some here left over they went really brown and you can tell they're very soft so obviously a different potato to what I usually get but that was very nice okay let's um find my recipe find out what I need to do for dinner even just chopping everything ready to cook closer to the time and we'll put away stuff and get the vegetables out that I got today and show you guys what I bought the, the last bit of the grocery haul. You have to tell me if your supermarket does the same thing. I've noticed recently like potatoes you used to buy by the kilo and they've changed you buy per potato which is kind of all right. I don't know what they do in the shops they, they must they can't don't count them in the shops I'm certain in the supermarkets I certainly didn't used to can't imagine they do cucumbers are also the same check out my three cucumbers i paid 70 cents per cucumber i have three very different sized cucumbers that doesn't seem right to me that i paid 70 cents per one i think i might send them a photo i don't approve of that <laughs> that is ridiculous really crazy I thought I'd better do the fruit and vegetables before I start dinner because I can get them put away that way. So I've got some strawberries, blueberries, which look really good today, and some raspberries, whole pumpkin, just to have, I like to have one, handy to have, lettuce, I'll be making up my salad for the week tomorrow. I thought I'd ordered a whole cauliflower, but I only got a half. It was probably half a cauliflower, I ordered one probably. Um, some mushrooms they look really good not sure what I'm going to do with them I might do our mushroom stroganoff is it that we really like who knows now that we're going away again because when I ordered this we weren't going away now we're going away again I think I don't know anyway whatever um, very small broccoli <laughs> three of them they're not quite expensive for the size too um, two avocados for Kevin my pathetic uh, Lebanese cucumbers to normal corn. Um, we really, Kevin's really been enjoying this polka dot corn. Oh, that's not even that good though. So sure we eat that quicker, sooner rather than later. Um, so I got some of them as well. Got some of the zany zucchinis. I need a zucchini for a meal this week, and then the rest will probably go to the dogs. Got lots of little tomatoes because we need probably at least two packets for tonight's dinner. Um, two bags of the baby spinach. I can't buy the loof leaf, leaf separate at the moment. I haven't seen to have it for ages, which is a shame because I find this goes off a lot quicker. These are the potatoes. So these are the ones I cut up today. So different size. I think these are the normal ones that we get. And those really red ones. They're nice, but they're a much different texture of potato. So again, look, the size different. I paid the same per potato. I think it's 70 cents a potato. And when you're not picking your own, you just get what they have. 
they've got some sweet potato I left these in the plastic bag because they're still wet they must have wet them down this morning I don't know whatever they do with them then some brown onions and some red onions because out of both of them and some bananas because always get bananas and then the other thing to show you from besides my squished tea cake got some Turkish rolls um, and some sourdough loaf and two lots of these spinach and herb wraps Christy really likes these and we have them from time to time as well so that was it for my groceries now <laughs> the fun part of putting all that away and getting on with dinner for a little bit of puzzle work probably not a lot today this puzzle is rather challenging for me <laughs> I've never showed you I probably showed you the one I'm working on now it's another fun box one Parisian gardens but yes it's um <laughs> it's ch challenging but I'm enjoying it and I'm getting some bits done so far but I think this one's going to take me longer than other ones so I'll probably just work on this for an hour or so and then I want to try and get a video edited um, and up for you guys and answer some more reply to some comments I forgot at lunchtime because I didn't sit outside so well, I'll get on to that later <laughs> there was a puppy at the window but as soon as you saw me with the camera he ran away that puppy's back making noises he's lucky he's cute Coda, that'll do. She was come to find out what's happening. I know what you name sniff. What? Oh, heard something? Sniff, heard something. That little nose twitching. A yawn. That's my updated progress. Got a bit of company today, <laughs> this afternoon. Dan's doing some weeding for us, so he's sitting doing some crocheting. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I got quite a lot done today. I was quite happy. <coughs> this one's being rude again, <coughs> demanding his dinner. I say, puppy should demand dinner, don't get <coughs> dinner. <coughs> hey, it's not even time, you're too early. So we've got that yeah, we tomato got pasta. Oh, it's got oh, the, this big it's long really name. Young. I'll go and find it for you. <laughs> Chris is just having a quesadilla. It's called vegan one pot caramelized tomato caprese pasta. Couldn't tell get it get long long. already. Yep. Clever, wasn't it? Does the tomato have an acronym? I don't know. It's quite long. What? What? <laughs> so no. 